Yeah, my name is Eric from Tony York Street, and this this was amazing yeah, and beautiful. Yeah, my name is Ketty Wilhelm from KettyWilhelm.com, and I'm going to be coming back to see this again. My name is Mami from GirlSurfWorld.com, and it was awesome. I love it. <laughs> Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hello, and thanks for joining us today on the Midlife Traveler as we are exploring Ireland through the voices, stories, and opinions of locals who live there and travelers who've been there. My name's Laura, and today we are going to go kayaking in Cork, Ireland. You are going to hear from some travelers who spent some time in Ireland from travel bloggers from 20york.com, girlsurf.com, katiewilhelm.com, and Anne Klein Solo Travels. And we had all come together for a conference in Ireland called TBEX, the Travel Blogger Exchange. And as part of that, we had done at the very end of the conference a day tour together that ended in a kayak tour on the port of Cork. And th this tour was just such a special close to our day and a really cool experience that most of us agreed afterwards that it was probably one of the highlights of our, of our trip that day. So you're going to hear first basically a round of gratitude and thank you and enthusiasm for Atlantic Sea Kayaking and for that really brief taste of their kayaking experiences. And then after that, you get to hear from Jim Kennedy, who is the man behind the family that runs Atlantic Sea Kayaking, because it is a family business, as you're going to hear Jim talk about. His wife Maria is in it, his son works in the business, his daughter works in the business. Like, their, their lives are interwoven with the story of Ireland and the story of adventure and the story of being out in nature experiences and what they're doing with this business is they're inviting tourists and visitors to experience Ireland in a whole new way that might be a little unexpected from the norm. For example, for me, before I visited Ireland, I don't know, I had some stereotype in my head, I guess, that it would be about history and I would listen to Irish music and I would drink some Guinness and I would see some cool sights and learn about history. And the truth is I did all of those things, which were fun and super cool, by the way. But I also had this really unexpected side of Ireland that I encountered, which is this love of getting out in nature and celebrating the natural beauty of the area that's around you. So whether it's going into a national park like Killarney National Park or going hiking out on the Dingle Peninsula or sailing out on the waters or surfing at Inch Beach or kayaking on the wild Atlantic Way, there are so many cool outdoor activities that you can do that, thank goodness, people out there like Jim and Maria from Atlantic Sea Kayaking are creating businesses to invite visitors and tourists like us to experience that side of Ireland because it's just really, I don't know, authentic. I guess that's how I think about it is authentic. So anyways... That's enough from me. I am going to turn it over to my friends to tell you what they thought of our trip. And you're also going to hear from Alice, who's been working with Atlantic Sea Kayaking this past year, as uh, she shares with us one of the things they're most famous for, which is a nighttime kayaking tour. Enjoy. Okay, so we just got off of the Atlantic Sea Kayaking. We're here at the Port of Cork. 
and I, I think this might be one of the highlights of my trip. Let's go around, let's just say who you are, your name, and say a thanks, or whatever you think about that, this part. Oh, yeah, my name is Eric from 20 York Street, and this this was amazing yeah, and beautiful. Yeah, my name is Ketty Wilhelm from KettyWilhelm.com, and I'm going to be coming back to do this again. You know, wait, coming back like on this trip or a future trip? A future trip. A future trip, there yeah, will be it's, a future it's, trip. it's future trip worthy. My name is Mami from girlsurfworld.com and it was awesome. I love it. <laughs> hey, I'm Piyush and I work for T-Bex and it was a great day. I loved all the activities we did today. And I will be coming for kayaking tomorrow. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Okay, you're the one I'm jealous. Bonjour à tous, mon nom est Marilou de 20york.com du Canada. C'était fantastique, vraiment incroyable. Alors, we're gonna be back. Uh, I'm Anne from Unclean Solo Travels and Adventures, and this is a fantastic adventure from Atlantic Sea Kayaking. Thank you very much. <laughs> and this is Laura from the Midlife Traveler podcast and the Trips from Seattle.com website. And this was fantastic. Thank you, guys. I, we have two people standing right next to us. Which should we say um, thank you? Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now who are we with? Now let's talk to you guys on the way back. Let's talk. Okay, um, I'm Alice. I'm from Cork, which is the city we're in right now. And we had great fun today. Thanks for coming. We oh, hope thanks. to see you again. So how long have you guys been working with the kite company? Um, well, I've been here for like a year, a year and a half, kind of on and off working. But they have a base down in West Cork, which is by the sea. So a lot of their events like would be down by the sea usually. So there are more locations for this? Oh, yeah. Kind of oh, yeah. They, they're famous for their moonlight kayak. So basically at sunset, around nine, half nine, it depends on the time of year, you all launch off into the sea near the woods and there's bioluminescence in the water. Oh so when you dip your paddle in, the oh whole gosh, water like lights up. Oh, it's amazing. So, so it's like a yes. starlight serenade sometimes as well, where Jim's daughter, Jessie, performs the violin and sings Irish folklore oh, songs. My yeah. And that's where do you depart? What's so there's two locations in West Cork. One's in Loch Ine, which is just outside Sip. Skibbereen, and one is Reen Pier, which is in Union Hall. They're 15 minutes away from each other, oh, okay. so yeah, it's amazing. Now, you mentioned something earlier. You guys have won awards. You've been recognized. Oh yeah, I think it was um, TripAdvisor two years ago said they're in the top 10 alternative like events that you can do in Europe or is it, in Europe. Yeah. Well, we only were able to get a really small taste of it today. I, yeah. I just makes me want to do more, and I can yeah. see why you guys are winning it gives those you awards. Good buzz. Yeah. yeah Okay, so now you've heard from me and my friends about what we thought of a little taste of Atlantic Sea kayaking on just on that one night where we got to tour and kayak through the port of Cork around sunset. And one of the things that I thought was really cool was we were actually kayaking through standing fishing vessels that were these massive boats. And me, I was a little nervous, but uh, I did it anyways, and it was really cool. Next, you're going to hear more directly from Jim Kennedy, who runs Atlantic Sea Kayaking. And first, he's going to tell you sort of the nuts and bolts of the business and the history and how they got started. He's going to tell you also about some of the um, awards that they've won, particularly for this one tour, which is a nighttime kayaking tour that sounds absolutely amazing. But then after that, we start talking about just Ireland in general and he shares some thoughts around Irish accents and he really digs in and shares with you a bit more about his community and his sense of family and a lot of this that comes around you know through his love of being active and outdoors and kayaking and rowing and uh, as he talks about his community you're going to hear that some of the absolute top uh, rowers in Ireland have come from his hometown and home rowing club. So with that, here is Jim, and thanks for listening. Well, lovely to hear those plaudits about ourselves. Jim Kennedy is my name. I'm in Cork in Ireland. Anyway, I'm, I'm a sea kayaking coach, instructor with Ireland, and came from a racing background. I've been a four world championship, so we have a good pedigree here in kayaking. We have a sea kayaking business. It was the first in Ireland called Atlantic Sea Kayaking, based in the west of Ireland, which is an amazing place, and I'd encourage you all to come to join us if you're looking for some amazing kayaking. We're, we're in Cork City at the moment because we had a whole lot of friends, of which Lauren is one. 
and we had you out in Cork City tonight, but most of our stuff is down in Cork Coast, down in the west of Cork, which is about an hour from Cork City. And we're famous, I suppose, for our nighttime kayaking, our trips with the bioluminescence and the whales and so on and so on. But uh, Ireland by night is incredible, whether it's a full moon or is stars. No, we call yeah. her, we just call it our nighttime kayaking trip. It is your trip. nighttime kayaking trip. So, okay. Moonlight, starlight trip. Oh, moonlight, starlight yeah, trip. Yeah, okay. we try to be romantic. We're Irish, so we're romantic by nature. Oh, okay. <laughs> we write poems and sing songs and hang about in our kayaks all day. Nice. But yeah, so it's a great place to kayak. We also run tours in Mexico, folks. Oh, so yeah. we go to lots of different countries and we upskill guides and... You know, if we like a place, we tend to set up a trip there. We've run tours in Martha's Vineyard, we've run tours in uh, Sausalito. Maria spent 10 years in Half Moon Bay, so we have big connections with America. Oh. So we, we're a bit of a virus. We get, we're international. We get everywhere. But, yeah, come to West Cork any time with us in Ireland, part of the wild Atlantic way. So could you tell me more about that Moonlight tour? Because it sounds like nothing I've ever heard of before in a... Yeah, well, lots of, peop- unique, unique. lots of people kayak, but I suppose 23 years ago when we started this business, we were in uh, Sausalito with some friends of ours from Sea Trek, great company over there by the, by the bridge, by the Golden Gate, and they were doing a full moon paddle over there, and that gave me the idea, why not try that in Ireland? And that evolved into a paddle without the moon and without torches, because we don't have any shipping here, so we... But the way we do it is very safe and very friendly and very zen-like. So we can guarantee by the time you come off the water after a trip with us at night time, you're completely spaced out and you're <laughs> totally relaxed and you have this incredible experience that you'll talk about. Check out our Facebook comments, the amazing comments that people are good enough to send us. We got lots of awards. We, last year we, were, we won uh, Ireland's first sustainable tourism award or a responsible tourism award oh. and then we won the overall thing as well so we've won that twice we've voted the best adventure in ireland by irish independent which is the big national newspaper by its readers a few years ago TripAdvisor voted us as one of the top 10 alternative tours in the world you know so we get a lot of good pr out there a lot of people like what we do and they sing wow. the praises they sing the praises because it's real. I had a, just a slight taste. We didn't have time to go on that full tour tonight, yeah. but just that the little piece. It's just, oh, I got, it's like a, a, a experience tease. I think I was telling you, like, story <laughs> tease. Can you just get us out there? Our group had a great time. Everyone oh, had great. a great time. Lovely to hear that. Well, you know, for us, we're a small family business. You met our son tonight. Mm-hmm. You met my wife, Maria. Our other son, Adam, is in it. Jesse, our daughter, is in it. So we're all involved in it. And for us, it's the fabulous, interesting people that we meet. Makes it very special for us. So, you know, that was special for us tonight, too. Fantastic. I hope you're enjoying Cork in Ireland. I'd never been to Cork before. I'd never been to this area. What is the ancient east? The ancient east, yeah, which spreads up around the east coast of Ireland. And then we have the wild Atlantic way down the west coast. Ireland's quite small when you look at it size-wise. But when you try and drive it... You know, well, it's it's a different story. It's quite a large country, yeah. time-wise. And a lot of diverse experiences. Huge, huge, yeah, yeah, massive. Yeah, so and the accents change every 10 miles, and the cultures <laughs> changes every 20 miles, and so on. Well, you know what, what a really pleasant surprise for me that I just didn't think of before I came to Ireland is how much nature that you can enjoy mm. and discover. Yeah. So I'm, I'm from Seattle, which mm. you know, we have camping in trees we're we're like the they call us they jokingly call us the tree huggers because we all like to go out in nature when yeah we're, out, you know, we're the office. same here but i wasn't thinking that there would be those opportunities here oh, like yeah. in killarney the national park was yeah. fantastic we yeah. got to like bicycle through the park fantastic and kayaking i mean i just didn't think that i think history I yeah. think art, I think being in a pub, mm-hmm. you know, Adventures all these other things. Yeah. Yeah. But from an outside perspective, Ireland isn't necessarily marketed so much as an adventure destination, but I found adventure here. No, we, we've been doing adventures forever, and we just take it for granted. So now we're beginning to discover that actually tourists and visitors want to try adventure. For and sure. we're just introducing them to what we do. It's like we played music for years, and we just took it for granted. And then we discovered other people liked our music. And all of a sudden, music becomes a big industry in Ireland, and the people go all over the world spreading the gospel, as I said earlier. Same with adventure. Like, if we live in a small little village called Skibbereen, maybe less than 2,000 people. 
There's a rowing club there with 30 people in it. There's five people went to the World Championships last week representing Ireland. Really? Four of them were from our club, and they brought back three World Championship medals. So oh, that's not bad. It, now, did I hear earlier you say that your son is in My son, Nisha's, and my granddaughter. My other son, used to, the, We've. It's like any small community, if there's a successful... Or this, it breeds success because all the people get behind whatever club is there. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a, a small say. village. Ireland's first rowing, ever rowing Olympic medal. Our club won it last year, a silver medal. And then they got three world championships this year. So that's huge for Ireland. That's massive yeah. for a small country like Ireland. Do we it. mix our kayaking and our adventure with our music, with our fun times, you know, and our food. We, we're very involved in food. Maria, my wife, who you met, she's an expert in seaweeds. So she brings group foraging for seaweeds teaches them how to cook with it and really? how to make cosmetics out of it and do all this sort of stuff. So wow, anything you to do with... So interesting. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, it's, out, it's out there for everyone. We yeah. all love it. Yeah. And listen, great to meet you and thanks yeah. for coming out. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. So there you have it. Thanks for listening. And if you are planning a trip to Ireland and you are interested in meeting these people, joining this night tour, just doing something related to kayaking, please look up Atlantic Sea Kayaking. You can find them on their website, AtlanticSeaKayaking.com, or I think the big way they book their tours are through TripAdvisor.com as a nighttime kayaking tour. And of course, we will also have links to their website and their tour on our website at AmidLifeTraveler.com. Thanks for listening and uh, safe travels wherever you may roam.